Hi, my name is Amy Heisey and this is my cat Scully and today I'm going to walk you through how to fold a three-leaf clover in honor of St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, is said to have used the three leaves of the clover to explain the Holy Trinity to the Irish. According to legend, he used the clover to illustrate how the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit could be distinct entities yet united as one. For this project, you need four pieces of green paper, glue, and tape. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper in half hamburger or hot dog style, so we get a skinny rectangle. Then we're going to open it up, turn it, and fold it in half again. We're gonna open up the paper, and we're gonna take the top part, and we are going to fold it down to this middle crease line. So I'm going to line it up with the crease line in the middle, and then I'm going to push down the top so it's folded flat. I'm going to turn my paper to the back and I have this crease line down the middle and I want to fold these corners to the center crease line. So I'm going to make sure that the top of the paper that I'm folding stays pointed, kind of like a paper airplane. I'm making sure that it lines up with the crease line and I'm going to fold the paper flat like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. When I finish, I have like a nice triangle point up at the top and then it's flat at the bottom. I'm going to turn my paper over to the back and I'm going to take this top point and fold it down to the bottom of my paper. And then I'm gonna crease the top flat. Next, I'm going to turn my paper over and what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take these little folds right here and I want to kind of open them up. So I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm kind of opening up the paper and um, my paper is starting to open up here, creating this little triangle shape. And I want to push that down flat. So it looks like a triangle next to like a square. And I wanna do the same thing on this side. I wanna kind of open this up a little bit, it kind of creates this pocket where I can put my finger in and I want to fold this down flat. And I kind of have like the, these two triangles. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna take these corners and I want to fold them in so they line up with my previous little triangle shape and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side too. I'm gonna to fold it in so it's pointed at the top like so. And those are creating the top um, bumps of kind of like a heart shape and these are gonna be the leaves of the clover. But right now they're kind of pointy so I want to make sure that I fold them down just a little bit. So you can fold it down just a little or um, kind of all the way um, where it kind of like lines up with this line right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, like so. The last thing I'm gonna do is I wanna take these edges of the paper and I wanna fold them to this middle crease line. So I'm gonna fold it over to the crease line and press down flat. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side, like that. So it kind of looks like little doors, um, the way it looks right now. But when you flip it over to the front, that creates one of the three heart-shaped leaves that we're gonna use for our three-leafed clover. I need to do that two more times, so I'm gonna put this little paper off to the side for now, and I'm going to grab my next sheet of paper. So you can fold along with me again, or you can skip ahead. I'm going to fold my paper in half, hamburger or hot dog style, open it up and fold it in half again, but the opposite way. So when I open it up, I have a crease line down the middle each way. 
Then I'm going to take this top line. Oh, hi, Scully. And then I'm going to take the top of my paper and I'm going to fold it down to this middle crease line. Like so. I'm going to turn my paper to the opposite side. And this is the part where I want to do the paper airplane um, kind of folds. So I want the top to stay nice and pointed and it comes and lines up with this crease line down the middle. Fold that down flat. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I want it pointy at the top and wider at the bottom. I'm going to turn my paper over to the back side and I want to take this top point and fold it down to the bottom of my paper and crease that flat. I'm going to turn my paper to the back and this is the part where I need to open up these little pockets and push them down flat to create these little triangle shapes. These corners get folded in towards the center, lines up with the edge of that first triangle that I folded and then these top points are gonna get folded down a little bit or halfway. So they curve those edges of my clover leaf. And then these sides get folded to this middle crease. So I'm gonna do that on one side and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there's leaf number two, and I'm gonna do that one more time. So fold it in half, open it up, turn it, fold it in half, open it up so I have a crease down the middle each way. The top of the paper gets folded down to the center. I flip the paper to the back side I do a paper airplane crease where it's pointed at the top and lines up with a center crease line in the middle. I turn my paper to the other side and take this top of the triangle point and fold it down the middle so it lines up with my crease line at the bottom. I flip it to the back. Lots of flipping. I open up the pocket, push it down flat to create a triangle shape like so. I fold these corners in on either side and then I fold these down. And then these side edges get folded towards the center. And there is my last clover leaf. So we need three of those heart shapes for the three leaves of our clover. Now, you might have noticed that there's these, there's kind of like this rectangle piece sticking out. And this piece um, kind of lifts up. So what's gonna happen is we are going to use our glue stick to add glue to the paper so we can um, securely fit um, each of these leaves together. So these rectangle corners that are sticking out, they kind of slide into the other parts of our heart because there's an empty space. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, glue these pieces together. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I want to add glue to this underside. And I wanna take one of my other hearts and slide it so the corner goes into that part right there and I'm gonna push it flat to get the glue to stick. And I wanna do that again here on this side. I wanna add glue to the paper, 
take my other clover leaf heart shape and slide it into that little pocket like that. And that helps glue those pieces together. But you might have noticed that we still have these pieces right here that are sticking out. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we're gonna tuck it underneath this remaining part of the clover. So what I like to do is I like to start off by folding that to create a crease line. So I do that one on that side and I wanna fold a crease on this side, kind of like that. And then I want to open up my little clover leaf heart, add a little bit of glue and fold that inside, tucking it into the clover leaf. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I want to add some glue to the inside of the paper, fold that little triangle in, and that tucks those extra pieces inside of the clover. So now I have a nice three leaf clover created all those hearts and if you want to you can secure your paper a little bit more by adding glue to the points of those hearts to get them the lie flat so that's a nice looking three leaf clover but i want to add a stem to make it a little bit fancier so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my last piece of paper and i'm going to use this to make a stem so we're going to roll up this piece of paper um, glue the paper and stick it to the back of our three leaf clover i'm going to take this bottom corner and i'm going to start rolling it up and I'm trying to keep this roll really tight. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time, slowly working my way up like this. And when I get to the last little bit of paper, I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put some glue down on the paper like that and continue rolling the paper until I get all the way to the top. So it kind of looks like a paper straw when it's all done. And I can leave it like that or I can kind of push it down flat like so. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to take one of the sides and I am going to fold it up and to the side. You can fold it to the left or to the right, either way. I just think it looks cuter when you do that or you can keep it straight. But we're gonna take this and we are going to tape it to this. So I am going to flip my, I'm gonna flip my clover to the back and I want to tape this stem to the back. So I'm gonna grab my tape and I'm going to pull off a piece of tape and attach it to my clover leaves. I'm gonna tape these down so they don't pop up as much as well. And when I flip it to the front, voila, there is my three leaf clover. Thank you so much for folding along with me today. I would love to see how your clovers turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. If you enjoyed following along with today's tutorial, you can give this video a thumbs up and I post new Catholic art tutorials every week. Another way that you can help support my channel is you can buy me a coffee. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for folding along with me. Happy St. Patrick's Day and I'll see you in the next video.